In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your Apple Watch. The first thing we need to do is to make sure our iPhone has been updated to the latest version of iOS. To do this, you want to open your settings application, and then you want to scroll down until you find general and tap into that. Now you want to find software update and tap into that. Now your phone is going to check for a software update and as you can see mine has been updated to the latest version. However if you have an update available you want to go ahead and update now. It's important to make sure that your iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi and you have at least 50% battery and it's connected to a charger. Now the iPhone has been updated we just need to update the Apple Watch. Now there are two main ways of doing this. Firstly I'm going to show you how to update your Apple Watch using the watch application on your iPhone and then I'm going to show you how to update it using the watch itself. First, we need to make sure the Apple Watch is connected to our iPhone and it has at least 50% battery and it's connected to a charger. Now we've done this, you want to open the watch application. Now you want to make sure you're on the My Watch tab in the bottom left hand corner. Now you want to scroll down until you find General and tap into that. Now you want to find Software Update and tap into that. It's going to automatically search for a software update and it will appear after a few seconds and it will look like this. So all we need to do now is click on download and install. Then you need to enter in your iPhone passcode. And then it's going to automatically start downloading the update to your watch. And then it will begin to install shortly after. Once your Apple Watch has been updated, we can double check this by going back to the watch application. And then you want to go back to general. And then you want to go back to software update. And after a few seconds, here it will tell you that you're on the latest version of watchOS. To update the Apple Watch using the watch itself, we first need to make sure it's connected to our iPhone and it has at least 50% battery and it's connected to a charger. Once you've done this, you want to go to the home screen of your Apple Watch and then you want to click the crown button to go to the application menu. Now you want to find the settings application and mine is in list view, which is why I have to scroll down. Once we've found it, you want to click the settings application and once you're inside settings, you want to scroll down and you want to find general and tap into that. Now we want to find software update and tap into that. And then it's going to automatically search for a new update and if you have one, it will appear here. So you want to click on the download and install button and you want to go ahead and wait for your Apple Watch to download the update. Once it's been downloaded, it will then begin to install the update and your Apple Watch won't be usable for the next five to 10 minutes. However, as you can see, I've already accepted the update from my iPhone earlier and it's currently downloading. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.